Jerry Lee Lewis has passed away at the age of 87. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. The legendary musician was the last surviving member of the Million Dollar Quartet. Tonight, Alex Coleman looks back at his sometimes controversial personal life and his musical legacy that made him known to fans as the killer. At my door. I created my own style. For decades, Jerry Lee Lewis was known to fans simply as the killer. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Lee Lewis. For his songs and the way he rattled the ivory. It was a musical ability that he knew was a gift. My mama and my daddy taught me a lot. They played piano too. And, uh, but they, they didn't play like I played. It's a sorrow. Friends and fans say nobody played the piano like Jerry Lee. Even as a kid, his piano teacher found that out the hard way when Jerry Lee gave him a lesson on how music should be played. I took one lesson and uh, I told the guy that when that song sounds better played like this, I played it my way and he slapped me. I never took any more lessons. <laughs> his music would take him from his home in Louisiana to Memphis, Tennessee to record at Sam Phillips' Sun Studio. This was the place where Jerry Lee would make records and history with one hit song after another. His first big hit was called Crazy Arms. And he put the tape on, cut Crazy Arms. And that was the record they released. <laughs> it sold 300,000 copies. Which wasn't bad for a beginner. <laughs> a beginner who later, along with Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, and Carl Perkins, seen in this historic picture, would be part of the Million Dollar Quartet at Sun Studio. They turned vinyl records into gold. I like to man the most important music in the world come out of Memphis. Hit records lined the walls of his home in Nesbitt, Mississippi. But he continued to tour and electrify audiences kicking over piano benches on stage. He even recorded a new CD called Rock and Roll Times. You might think one of his all-time favorite songs might be Great Balls of Fire or Whole Lot of Shaking Going On, but it's not. My favorite song, I guess, be The Old Rugged Cross. That's one of my favorite song. I would say God is number one in my life. Yeah. I trust in God all the way. Lewis was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1986, and his pioneering contribution to the genre has been recognized by the Rockabilly Hall of Fame. In 1989, his life was chronicled in the movie Great Balls of Fire, starring Dennis Quaid. In 2012, he was married for the seventh time, and at that time, his wife Judith says their love, his music, and the opening of the new Jerry Lee Lewis Cafe and Honky Tonk on Beale Street kept him young. I think that and getting this new restaurant on Beale Street and being able to see that Memphis appreciates him, you know, because he's never left Memphis. He loves Memphis. Jerry Lee Lewis, the last surviving member of the Million Dollar Quartet. <laughs> Remember for the way he lived, the way he played his piano, and for making unforgettable music. Jerry Lee Lewis. Morning's come. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. That man was one of a kind. Jerry Lee Lewis gone at the age of 87. Yeah, so 